Spring can be slow to come to Ellsworth, Maine, the small city sometimes referred to as the gateway to Acadia National Park and Down East Maine. In fact, long before any blossoms or buds appear, the first real sign of spring around here might be all the signs. For a few short weeks in the springtime, the mad rush is on to harvest glass eels, or elvers, from local rivers and streams. It's an eel! Makeshift buying stations pop up in empty ice cream stands and garages. A pound of these tiny glass eels is worth hundreds of times more than lobster, a pot of gold at the end of a dip net. A single night's catch can bring in what may sound like a whole year's income. I wrote him a check for $79,600, and he caught those last night. Money like that has brought on a gold rush fever that has, at times, gotten out of control. Almost everybody was carrying firearms. Um, it, it was just, it was really the Wild West. And this might be the best year yet. The rivers are running thick with these baby elvers. This year's price, more than $2,000 a pound. It's incomprehensible. I try to explain this eel situation to my friends in Ohio, and they have no concept. They think I'm on drugs. This is Chronicle on WCVB Channel 5. Before he started fishing for glass eels, life for Daryl Young of Waltham, Maine was pretty lean. When I moved up here, we were poor as a crow. He lived in a remote cabin, no electricity, no plumbing. We had running water, we'd run out and get it. <laughs> hey, Dash, what do you think about eeling tonight? Then, about 30 years ago, Young heard about elver fishing. A simple net could catch baby eels, making their way from the ocean up the local streams. Unbelievable. And bring in unheard of money. It's changed my life, definitely. It was $200 a pound then, and that's why I jumped onto doing it. The reason glass eels were suddenly in such demand? The emerging worldwide appetite for sushi. Baby eels caught in Maine are exported to Asia, grown to maturity, then processed for the sushi market. Today, Daryl Young and his son Dustin collect a decent night's harvest from their net in Hogshead Bay. Probably three pounds in there, that's $6,600. Young is just back from his annual three-month vacation in the Florida Keys, living La Vida Loca in his luxury 40-foot RV. A long way from that unheated shack in the woods. But come mid-March, Young can't wait to put the palm trees and pina coladas behind him and head back up to Maine's messy, chilly spring. And everybody down there was like, why are you going to go home in the cold? <laughs> go fishing. Young will collect about 10 pounds of glass eels at his second net this morning. Dollar piece. When it gets to dealer Bill Sheldon, this single night haul will be worth about $28,000. People that make this money, they need it. It's a fishery that a small man can get into. You don't need a boat, you don't need a expensive gear, you need a pair of boots and a, a dip net and a flashlight and a bucket. Bill Sheldon isn't just a dealer, he is widely credited with creating Maine's Elver Market. Bill's the godfather. In 1970, Japanese officials asked Maine's Department of Marine Resources to assess the state of its elver population. The task was assigned to a recent college grad with a degree in wildlife management, Bill Sheldon. What he learned would lead him to leave his state job and start designing eel traps and holding tanks. Yeah, Bill might have been the guy that invented the fisher or at least discovered it certainly wrote the book. Mitchell Feigenbaum, based in Canada, now a partner with Bill Sheldon in Maine Eel Trade and Aquaculture, which exports local eels to Asia. I'm not going to call my friends in, uh, in, in Canada and, and ask them to start negotiating at 5 in the morning. Dealing with buyers like this one in China makes eels a 24-7 business during the spring run, worth tens of millions of dollars a year. It's a wild business when it comes to the trading of glass eels in Asia. When circumstances allow, we, we want those eels over there and 
within three or four days of being caught. The early years of this new lucrative eel market were largely unregulated and by all accounts, crazy. It truly wasn't safe. I'd travel around with half a million or three quarters of a million dollars in cash in my truck at night. And mistakes were made. An ongoing federal investigation snagging 17 people trafficking Alvers. Officials say the haul is worth millions. I'm 71 and live my life free from crime. I never did think I'd be doing jail time. Then along came a warden with eels to sell, and tragically into his trap I soon fell. Wow, and more on prison poet Bill Sheldon and his brush with the feds mm -hmm. coming up. Meanwhile, the price of glass eel mm -hmm. went up to as high as $2,700 a pound this year. It's incredible. As recently as the early 2000s, the price was actually $15 a pound. Then about 10 years ago, a couple of things happened. Number one, the Asian eel population was in decline and the EU banned exports and the price went through the roof. Now there are people in Maine talking about farming these glass wow. eels to cash in on this market. Incredible.